Hello learners, this is Sam from Tag Schooling and today we are going to talk about tatni, which is actually an abnormal excitement of peripheral nerve, which is actually increases the action potential frequency of muscle cells. So the sign we see is actually our tatni seizures, is actually a medical sign in which person have involuntary contraction of muscles. But when we think about tatni we have this idea that we have involved we have seen involuntary contraction of muscle and we think this is tatni but it's actually related to your nerves which is the peripheral nerve which uh, which has actually abnormal excitement all right so we are going to discuss uh, first of all we are going to discuss a few causes of the uh, tatni and then we are going to discuss about the signs and in the end we're talking about the treatment of the tatni all right so let's just go through the causes all right we have actually uh, th a lot of causes could be there could be some surgical causes but we are going to talk talk about really main causes uh, which could be the hypocalcemia which means the de decrease of the calcium calcium ions in your blood or in your body or could be hypomagnesemia which means the decreased level of uh, magnesium and it could be alkalosis all right uh, in the hypocalcemia I don't know we go this way uh, one by one and talking about each of them or oh, in the cases of hypocalcemia you know there could be different factors which causes hypocalcemia different factors which cause hypocalcemia and hypocalcemia causes what it causes tatni so um, the number fact number one factor which we are going to discuss is the mal absorption of the calcium ions so what happens you're taking less calcium ion or or sometimes what happens we are taking enough calcium ions but our body is not, not absorbing the calcium ion so this there could be two reasons either we are not taking proper calcium ions or calcium or our body is not uh, absorbing properly the calcium ion which is ultimately uh, uh, ultimately decreases the level of calcium in your body and we uh, which causes the uh, tatni all right and the number uh, this is the uh, all right and then the second point is the hypo parathyroidism all right uh, in hypoparathyroidism is actually in a state in which the parathyroid hormone which is released from the uh, the, thyroid, uh, thyroid, uh, the thyroid gland so in which the parathyroid hormone actually decreases which actually leads to the low level of calcium in the blood so which ultimately uh, leads to low level of calcium uh, calcium in the blood and which in the end leads to the tatni all right and in other case we we have the acute pancreatic pancreatic or uh, pancreatitis you know sorry about that pronunciation uh, i suck at some time at pronunciation and the number third is the osteomalacia and in the end uh, the number fifth point is actually the uh, chronic renal failure you know chronic renal failure sometimes causes the uh, uh, hypoglycemia, hypocalcemia, which actually leads to the tatni, and the uh, I didn't tell you about osteomalacia, which is actually the uh, softening of the bones. You can uh, take the word by uh, you know osteomalacia, you know, and, and, you know, making a concept. It's it is it is what I call the softening of the bones. And other case about talking about the magnesium, it's you are not going to talk any further detail about it. That's it, it for the magnesium. That uh, low level of magnesium in the body or in the blood actually causes the Tatni and uh, let's move to the alkalosis. All right, alkalosis seems pretty good, you know. Now, in, in, in talking uh, in alkalosis condition, we're going to talk about four things. Uh, Sometimes, what happens uh, that uh, you, somebody is continuously vomiting, you know, there's a continuous severe vomiting. So, if you're continuously vomiting, you're losing a lot of minerals from your body, a lot of minerals, including calcium. If you're not going to counterbalance that, you might die you know you get because of dehydration but that's another case uh, moving to the dehydration but uh, you know continuous severe vomiting can also cause uh, leads to the alkalosis which actually causes the tatni so we have to uh, avoid and in the, in the case of the, in this case we are going to uh, tell what treatment should be advised and about all these and what sh treatment should be advised in all these conditions uh, specifically this one we are going to talk a bit in bit uh, in a bit all right and what about this one uh, the uh, we some uh, sometime what happens if you're taking uh, a lot of alkali alkali in your body so in that case you know what happens you take a lot of alkali in your body so um, 
it also leads to the alkalosis, which ultimately causes tetany. And the number third point, which is the hyperventilation. All right, you, you must be wondering what hyperventilation has to do with the tetany, but it has to do a lot of a lot of the a lot of things to with the tetany, because in hyperventilation, uh, the uh, uh, what happens? The low levels of carbon dioxide actually causes the tetany. Get my words, what I'm saying. The low levels of carbon dioxide cause tetany by altering the albumin binding of calcium. What binding? Al alter altering the albumin binding of the calcium such that the ionized, which is actually physiological, physiology, uh, physiologically influencing fraction of calcium is actually reduced in that condition all right and the hyperventilation and the number four point which i haven't uh, drawn here but which is actually is the primary aldosteronism which is actually uh excess production of aldosterone in the in the body uh so this is all about the alkalosis and these conditions actually cause the tatni and now let's move towards the uh, talk about uh, the signs you know we have different signs you know for different signs we can observe different signs in in the tetany uh, i'll just uh, talk few of them and get an idea i'll be showing the pictures of your uh, i'm not going to discuss them you know a few a few signs like chivostock yeah, i suck at the pronunciation sorry about that uh chivostock sign and trogius sign i'm just going to uh, write them down here but i'm going to put a picture you can see over there how this looks like you know check the ch cho sign which is actually a sign in a, a tatney you can see there it's actually an adult right remember that adult you know children have different signs and uh, the other sign is trages sign all right and uh, Sometimes you uh, a lot of so you know and and the other sign included the tingling sensation Tingling sensation all right, and you can also feel muscle cramps but I'm not going to write it down But you feel muscle cramps and uh, wheezing sometimes wheezing sound <laughs> You know that sound you feel like this is because of the uh, uh, the uh, bronco span is palm you know your bronco Bronchi get spam, all right. And the third, uh, the end point, you know, another point is this phagia, which is which which is also a sign of the tetany. All right, this is all about the sign of the tetany. Now let's move to the treatment of how we can treat this. You know, in condition of hypoglycemia, uh, hypo sorry about it, hypocalcemia. In this condition, we are going to use the calcium gluconate. Calcium gluconate all right in case of the calcium if you're going to treat you you have to advise calcium gluconate to the patient but in case of the magnesium you are simply going to advise magnesium but in case of alkalosis we have to go through each of this condition in case of alkalosis in this case you have to you know person is continuously also going through uh, losing a lot of uh, volume uh, you know uh, a lot of volume of the uh, his, uh, body you know how do you get it dehydrated so you have to use isotonic solutions in order to counterbalance it bringing the body to the normal and in this case uh, the um, uh, in the in the case of taking a lot of alkali in the body you have to advise him with ammonium chloride all right and that's it about the tatni all right and uh, if you think you know you need to understand more about tatni or you need some other other topic to understand which we can possibly make it easy or we can make it easy for you to understand please make sure that you comment below and tell us what should we teach or how can we make things better than this